that was quite a poignant ending. Um, they're not all going to be like that. No, no, no. <laughs> there, there is uh, acting in the show, but it's not theatre. No. Um, the bits you're not laughing at, that's Those theater. are theatre. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was based on a true story, wasn't it? Yeah. But so, it, it didn't happen to Richard, it actually happened to me. I was in, uh, in Glasgow. You can go to the, I urge you to go to the Singh Curry House in the north part of Glasgow. It's fantastic. Have you been? These two lads are like, yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, it's good. But I was there uh, on, uh, on tour supporting a comedian called Mark Watson. And the two of us were in the restaurant. And the bloke found out we were comedians and started going, uh, rip the piss out of him. Rip the piss out of you, mate. I'll give you a pakora. <laughs> um, so that night, <laughs> me, me and Mark went on to make all of the waiting staff cry and uh, I've received a completely free meal <laughs> which we didn't eat <laughs> we're not stupid <laughs> I'm just going to pick up that name you dropped oh. probably have heard of Mark Watson, he's, he's fairly famous now, he's been on the TV a fair bit week and so forth. Just fleshing out the story. Have you, uh, <laughs> have you, have you supported anyone on tour? No. No? no, but I do know Scroobius Pip. <laughs> Literally don't know what those words mean. And, and, and last year I won Say Think You're Funny. Oh, I was the current reigning champion until two days ago. Yeah. Hey! Hey! That was, that was uh, it's quite a prestigious comedy competition. Hands up, who's heard of Say so You Think You're Funny? Ooh, six. <laughs> <laughs> and funny enough, yeah. they, they misspelled Richard's name on the promotional stuff at the Guilty Balloon that hosts the competition. They somehow managed to misspell Richard Sandling, Andrew Sandling. Oh. <laughs> That's a pretty bad spelling. You've got, to get, you've got to try quite hard to spell something that bad. But regardless, have you have you uh, won any no, awards? No, I haven't won any. Have you ever actually been favourably reviewed? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Time Out magazine in London referred to me as. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> and, and actually, Metro recently said I was probably one of the most likeable comics on the circuit. That's two levels removed from not a very good compliment. <laughs> likeable. <laughs> but no, I haven't won any competitions. But as you well know, uh, I did recently come third in the Street Performing World Championships. But Jack, third in the world. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 third in the world. Was, was there juggling? There was some juggling involved. <laughs> He's being quite modest. I'm surprised he hasn't brought this up himself. But one thing you might like to know about Stuart is that before coming up to Edinburgh, when we go back from Edinburgh, his main job during the day was and will be that he's the official studio warm-up man for ITV1's Loose Women. That's true. <laughs> uh, literally, literally living the dream. <laughs> Any young comics out there, work hard, stay in school, one day. <laughs> It's, it's always what I saw as my destiny. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's a lovely job. They're a really nice bunch of production team. All this stuff. They're, they're lovely. But um, funnily enough, whenever I tell any of my friends that I'm working on the show Loose Women, <coughs> without exception, they all pause and then go, I bet they love you. <laughs> do, do they love you? They totally love me. 